It is so good to see trailers like this for the new arc of Dragon Ball Super. They did this last month, but they did it again this month, and it's more of an introduction into Granola, Goku, everybody, and the strongest warrior coming in the next arc. This is about to get really intense. They're taking elements from Dragon Ball GT. This so far is reminding me of Baby. Granola and Baby could end up being very similar characters here with very similar backstories. Their home invaded by the Saiyans and Frieza, now they're out for revenge. This is the beginning of the trailer and it's translated to it says, A tragedy once happened on a certain planet, showing the Ozarus, the great apes, rampaging through this planet. And it's a typical thing for them, they probably weren't thinking much of it, but on this planet was Granola. It then shows a very familiar face of a certain great ape looking down into a building and looking back at him is Granola from the first person. This Ozaru is Bardock, however they're going to incorporate that into the story is going to be very interesting. There's even been ideas of resurrecting Bardock and having Goku and his father meet for the first time. But the trailer continues to go on and it shows the last survivor from that race, from that hellish day, is Granola, and he says here, that bastard Frieza, I'll have my revenge with my own hands. It's interesting because even though it showed the Saiyans rampaging his home planet, he knows that at the top of all of that was Frieza. Even though he could still hate the Saiyans, it seems like above all else, he hates Frieza even more. Which is cool because it means Frieza's gonna get more involvement and anytime Frieza's in the series, it's always good. The trailer then goes on to say, his desire for revenge will alter the balance of power in the universe. It will alter the balance of power in the universe. So right now, the balance of power is really easy to understand. You have the angels and grand priest at the top, then the gods of destruction, then all of the mortals below. But if that balance gets messed up and somehow a mortal becomes stronger than an angel, it could get really weird. It then goes on to say, Ultra Instinct Goku and Vegeta, of course gonna be the main two in this arc, they always are. Vegeta says to himself for about the 17th time, I'll surpass Kakarot using a different method. That's just what he's been trying to do for a very long time now. It then cuts to these guys who have been compared to a budget tier version of Bojack's crew, if anyone remembers them. I wouldn't sleep on these guys yet because it goes on to say, in Universe 7, a new force emerges and among them is the greatest warrior in the universe and he's about to be born. It cuts to the Oracle Fish or another version of the Oracle Fish and he is prophesizing there is going to be someone who is born and their power is going to rise up so fast, faster than anyone that we've ever known. From Universe 7, they will automatically be the strongest warrior in the multiverse. They even go as far to say that this warrior is going to be stronger than Ultra Instinct Goku. As we all know, the full chapter comes out in the next few days. We'll find out more information then, but for right now, it's looking very interesting. The Saiyans, Frieza, Granola is turning out to be Super's version of Baby. They could even bring back Broly if this is a Saiyan type story, a Saiyan Freezer historic battle. They could bring back Broly, they could even bring back Bardock. There's so many things they could do here. And uh, it's looking good. That is the new trailer that came out in relation to this new arc, a fighter to be named the strongest of all. That is what we're going to be looking at. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dragon Ball video.